book moral stories in english hey kids today let's enter into a story the crocodile and the monkey once upon a time a clever monkey lived in a tree that bore juicy red rose apples he was very happy one fine day a crocodile swam up to that tree and told the monkey that he had traveled a long distance and was in search of food as he was very hungry the kind monkey offered him a few rose apples the crocodile enjoyed them very much and asked the monkey whether he could come again for some more fruit the generous monkey happily agreed the crocodile returned the next day and the next and the next one after that soon the two became very good friends they discussed their lives their friends and family like all friends do the crocodile told the monkey that he had a wife and that they lived on the other side of the river so the kind monkey offered him some extra rose apples to take home to his wife the crocodile's wife loved the rose apples and made her husband promise to get her some every day meanwhile the friendship between the monkey and the crocodile deepened as they spent more and more time together the crocodile's wife started getting jealous she wanted to put an end to this friendship so she pretended that she could not believe that her husband could be friends with a monkey her husband tried to convince her that he and the monkey shared a true friendship the crocodile's wife thought to herself that if the monkey lived on a diet of rose monkeys his flesh would be very sweet so she asked the crocodile to invite the monkey to their house the crocodile was not happy about this he tried to make the excuse that it would be difficult to get the monkey across the river but his wife was determined to eat the monkey's flesh so she thought of a plan one day she pretended to be ill and told the crocodile that the doctor said that she would only recover if she ate a monkey's heart if her husband wanted to save her life he must bring her his friend's heart the crocodile was aghast he was in a dilemma on the one hand he loved his friend on the other he could not possibly let his wife die the crocodile's wife threatened him saying that if he did not get her the monkey's heart she would surely die so the crocodiles went to the rose apple tree and invited the monkey to come home to meet his wife he told the monkey that he could ride across the river on the crocodile's back the monkey happily agreed as they reached the middle of the river the crocodile began to sink the frightened monkey asked him why he was doing that the crocodile explained that he would have to kill the monkey to save his wife's life the clever monkey told him that he would gladly give up his heart to save the life of the crocodile's wife but he had left his heart behind in the rose apple tree he asked the crocodile to make haste and return by so that the monkey go get his heart from the apple tree the silly crocodile quickly swam back to the rose apple tree the monkey scampered up the tree to safety he told the crocodile to tell his wicked wife that she had married the biggest fool in the world moral of the story don't underestimate yourself there are bigger fools in this world
Hi kids today let's enter into a story The Brahmin and the Crooks Long time ago there lived a brahmin named Mitra Sharma he was the worshipper of fire god during the monsoon season one day he decided to sacrifice a goat in order to please his god therefore he went to the nearby village to ask a devotee to donate his goat for the sacrifice when he reached there he asked his friend dear i came to you for a special purpose i want a healthy and physically fit goat from your herd to sacrifice it to please the fire god his friend happily donated him his favorite goat to offer to the fire god the brahmin put the goat on his shoulder to reach at home before the evening on his way home three crooks observed him with a fat goat on his shoulder those three crooks were ravenously hungry from last 4 to 5 days they saw it as a golden chance to deceive the brahmin because he was traveling all alone therefore all the three charged out a clever plan as per their plan one crook intercepted brahmin and stood alongside the road when the brahmin reached near him he said hey brahmin why you are carrying a profane dog on your shoulders the brahmin got furious with the crook he retorted back at him what are you saying don't you have eyes can't you distinguish between a dog and a goat why would i carry a profane dog on my shoulder the crook innocently replied friend i said what i saw if you are saying it's a goat it might be a goat don't be worried Please carry on with your journey. Amin proceeded a little further. Then he met with the second crook. The second crook laughed on the Brahmin and said, "Oh Brahmin, who advised you to carry a donkey on your shoulder? Can't you put him down and ride the donkey on your way home? Shame on you. How can you do this? You are pure moment." He shrugged his head and shouted at him, "Are you blind?" Can't you see I'm carrying a sacrificial goat on my shoulders not a donkey you get out of my way i don't seek your advice Amin had gone a little mile further he again met another crook the third one he yelled at the brahmin o oh brahmin what had happened to you why do you carry a dead calf why don't you throw it into the jungle please go back and throw the dead calf into the jungle before anybody sees and insults you i am your well-wisher please do as i am saying now the brahmin was in bewilderment he thought three men said three different things perhaps i might be a cat perhaps i might be carrying a ghost who is changing his shape such a thought sent a shiver down his spine he got very frightened he immediately threw the goat in the jungle and ran as fast as he could without even looking back the crooks caught the fat goat and laughed and feasted on the goat dinner moral of a story don't believe anyone else blindly use your brain and intelligence today let's enter into a story the crocked pot Once upon a time there was a water bearer in India who had two large pots each hung on each end of a pole which he carried across his neck one of the pots had a crack in it and while the other pot was perfect and always delivered a full portion of water at the end of the long walk from the stream to the master's house the cracked pot arrived only half full for a full two years this went on daily with the bearer delivering only one and a half pot of full water in his master's house of course the perfect pot was proud of its accomplishment perfect to the end for which it was made But the poor cracked pot was ashamed of its own imperfection and miserable that it was able to accomplish only half of what it had been made to do. 
After two years of what it perceived to be a bitter failure, it spoke to the water bearer one day by the stream. I am ashamed of myself and I want to apologize to you. Why? asked the bearer. What are you ashamed of? I have been able for these past two years to deliver only half of the load because of his crack in my side causes water to the leak out of all the way back to your master's house. Because of my flaws, you have to do all of this work and you don't get full value from your efforts, the pot said. The water bearer felt sorry for the old cracker pot. And in his compassion, he said, as we return to the master's house, I want you to notice the beautiful flowers along the path. Indeed, as they went up the hill, the old cracker pot took notice of the sun, warming the beautiful wild flowers on the side of the path, and this cheered it some. But at the end of the trial, it still felt bad because it had leaked out half its load and so again it apologized to the bearer for its failure. The bearer said to the pot, did you notice that there were flowers only on your side of your path, but not on the other spot side? That's because I have always known about your flaw and I took advantage of it. I planted flower seeds on your side of the path and every day while we walk back from the stream you have watered them. For two years I have been able to pick these beautiful flowers to decorate my master's table. Without you being just the way you are, you wouldn't have this beauty to grace his house. Moral of the story. Each of us has our own unique flaw, but it's the cracks and flaws we each have that make our lives together. So every interesting and wanting. You have just got to take each person for what they are and look for the good in them. Hey, thank you for watching. Click the subscribe if you like our video.